Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to update the software and firmware for the SPS3. It's pretty similar for all models so if you follow the uh, instructions you should be able to do it for any of the other models that we've made in the past and probably in the future as well. Okay, first thing we need to do is download the files and I like to keep my files in a folder so I'm going to put a new folder on my desktop. So go to your desktop and right hand click and select new and then folder and up will pop a folder underneath it just type in whatever you want to call it I'm going to call mine SBS updates and that's where I'm going to put any updates for my SBS so I'll open it up and have it ready there now we go to the kinetic website we want kinetic.co.uk so if we go www.kinetic.co.uk and there we are now I'm going to make that my home page and I suggest you do the same because you will find that you're in and out of this website quite a bit if you're following my videos so whatever your default is just put it in there and if you miss that you just go to the settings cog in your internet browser internet options and create the home place select apply and that's it so we now click the home tab and kinetic comes up support downloads been there before and you'll be there a lot more SPS 3 is what we have now if you've got a recent SPS 3 you'll have firmware 114 and you'll have CD 168 the latest one on our website is the beta version which is what I'm going to show you how to install um, the uh, the firmware uploader is always going to be the same for the SPS 3 so if we click here and select the firmware uploader do you want to run or save it save it that's all you got to do then we go over to the beta section I want the firmware save it I want the software save it there's a documentation which will open up I would print it you can save it but if you print it you've got it on the desk in front of you nice and easy to see what's going on then once you've done that shut down your browser here comes the folder containing what you just downloaded close that down go to start your computer name downloads and you've got these three files that you've just downloaded select all of them and just copy them over to your SBS updates folder you could do it from where they are but it's useful to have them all in one place because next time some firmware comes out you'll still use the same prog USB lattice right let's deal with the um, firmware first of all if we go like this drag and drop and then you click run and up pops a box and it's going to upload my firmware and it's telling me it's uploading the file 0115 which is the one I want leave your SPS 3 uploading its firmware before you start that you must make sure base station is closed right so I'm going to move that out of my way while that's downloading and this could take up to five minutes um, so do bear that in mind it's still running in the background okay right here we have the new base station folder file sorry and here is the base station shortcut where that base station shortcut sits on your desktop right hand click the mouse get in the habit of exploring what your right hand mouse button does because you'll find it's very useful open the file location that's going to take me to the folder where that base station shortcut points to and in there is base station highlighted right hand click again rename and I want you to call it base station old because it's your old copy of base station okay now leave that folder open and go to your folder that contains the new download and click on it so it comes this sort of light gray bluey color then right hand click copy over here right hand click paste continue and there we are that's now copied the new executable file 
so we've got the new firmware sorry new software we're just waiting for the firmware to upload once that firmware is uploaded this box will just disappear off of your desktop it's finished if we now it was asking permission to run this because it hasn't seen that file you don't need to worry so just say don't worry about asking every time you open it hit run you see straight away version 171 and if I go to help about version 171 build 115 there we are, latest software, latest firmware. So that's how you do it. I'm not going to run through the features. I'll do that in another video because this is a general reference for updating software and firmware. Have fun and see you on the next video.